The fourth part, why is education important for the upliftment of the society? Veena and team have sent me this question. And I think the education, uh, when, when I went to, uh, for swimming, my people told me, you should never learn from your friends when I try to go with my friends. You should try to learn from your relatives or your parents. The same thing applies on the education. The children have been sent to school and they learn from strangers, strangers, strange teachers whom they do not know. Education should be taught first by the parents, the uncles, the brothers, the sisters. And their own guru will be the father to grandfather to great grandfather. Yes. The doctors will be their own family doctors so children understand what medicine goes. Let thy food be thy medicine. They start respecting their own cultural food, what grows in their own land. If that is not education, what else is education? They will know how to respect, give respect and take respect. And when they love their own land, when they could breathe their own land, feel, smell, taste, touch in their own land, I think that is the first step of education. So, you know, some societies, they say the first four years they spend on on teaching the children culture. So let the first four years go in their own land. Let the, all the families send the children to the family tree. And then maybe they will know the first four years is stabilized by stabilizing their own culture. And they will, once they have a beautiful pyramid, no world can touch. That should be the education. The all other education is slave trade, slave trade. Knowingly or unknowingly, like uh, Swami Vivekananda said, you are all walking like dead bodies. You have become unconscious of what is happening in the world. Even if you are conscious, you are not willing to fight back because there is no strength they are given. You have taken everything from you. What else is left? Silent revolution is now a must. We must go back to our family tree. Like Jimmy Carter, the ex-American president said, the Japanese are like the ducks on the riverbed moving graceful but the legs are moving very fast under the water now it is your duty to make sure in the society you move very gracefully otherwise they will tumble you to uh, trample you to death move in the society by move very fast let your legs work under the water very fast to stabilize your joint family give back to that before your death comes that day you can answer to God to nature what you have done back to your society. That should be the real education.